refer to the accompanying data display here to the right that results from a simple random sample of times minutes between eruptions of the old faithful geyser. The confidence level of 95% was used to complete parts A and B below. In part A it says express the confidence interval in the format that uses the less than symbol round the confidence interval limits given that the original times are all rounded to one decimal place. So let's go ahead and take a look at this display here. So here's our display. So we have our T interval. And this is the confidence interval. So we have 85.74 as the lower limit. And then the upper limit is 91. 0.76. Okay, now in the question it's asking us to round it to two decimal places. So rounding it to two decimal places gives us the following. So we know that this is going to be 85. So the lower limit is 85.74. And the upper limit is 91.76. Okay, now it says to identify the best point estimate of the mean and the margin of error. So the best point estimate of the population mean is the sample mean. And you can see here the sample mean is x bar, which is equal to 88.75. So we're going to say that the point estimate of the population mean is the sample mean, which is 88.75 minutes. Okay, now the question says to at solve for the margin of error. So how do we find the margin of error? We're going to need the following formula. To find the margin of error, we're going to take the upper confidence limit and then subtract a lower confidence limit and then divide it by 2 and then they want us to round it to two decimal places. So if we take the upper confidence limit, which is 91.76, then we're going to subtract a lower limit of 85 0.74 and then we're going to divide that by 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So on our calculator we're going to take 91.6 excuse me 91.76 and subtract 85.74 and then we're going to divide that by 2 and that gives us 3.01 as the margin of error. So let's go ahead and put that result in here, 3.01, and there is our result.